Rupp Arena hasn't been the friendliest place for Kentucky this season. Four home losses, but can they beat the Gators in Lexington? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down the Tuesday night battle in the SEC. Let's bring in our CBSSports.com college basketball columnist, Gary Parrish, to break this down. And Gary, you look at Kentucky, so much publicity earlier when Jody Meeks had that huge game and broke the school record. But now the Wildcats have lost three straight. Is this team on the downward spiral? Well, there's no question. Like you said, they've lost three straight. And it's not just, uh, you know, three straight, like three straight in the Big East. to Syracuse, Villanova, and Louisville. I mean, at Ole Miss, an Ole Miss team that has struggled and are really down to, th you know, three of the top four guards. To go lose there with a shot, then lose uh, to South Carolina, then back that with a loss to Mississippi State. This is a team that's struggling. I don't want to count out Billy Gillespie too soon because a lot of people did that last year and he turned it around. But uh, it's getting late in the season, and if he's going to get to turn it around, he needs to get started. Well, you got a month to do that, and against Florida is Patrick Patterson the key to doing it. Well, I mean, he's... You know, Meeks gets a lot of attention, and, and rightfully so. But Patrick Patterson is the guy coming into this season that people thought would be the best player at Kentucky, and he's having a great year. 18 points, 9 rebounds. You know, in, a, in both these teams, uh, you know, uh, lack you know real high-level quality wins. And, uh, and Florida's got a problem in, in the front court. I mean, Alex Tice is having a good year, just a good year, a good year for him. But uh, Florida is not, you know, the days of Joe Kim, Noah, Al Hor for Chris Richard. That, that's not happening right now. And so Patterson needs to take advantage of that, go in and have a big night, and not make it where Meeks has to go for 50 to win or even 30 to win. That's, that's not the way to try to succeed in the SEC. No, it's not the front court of Florida old, at least the national champions. And you talk about their best player. You talk about Nick Calathis. You just mentioned the leading scorer for Kentucky and the leading scorer in the SEC being Jody Meeks. Uh, which one of those guys would you say has a better night on Tuesday? I really like Calathis because you can tell he's got to be solid pretty much every game unless he gets some quick fouls. I mean, he's, he's, he does a little bit of everything to make his teammates better. 18 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists a game. Uh, he, you know, he'll get the ball to you if you're hot. He can find the open man. He can handle the ball. I think he impacts winning more than Meeks does. Meeks is a good guy. He's a high-volume shooter. I mean, he's going to come out, he's going to shoot, and if he's hot, watch out. They're going to have to beat anybody in the country. If he's not, they'll lose that Ole Miss. And so I think Calathis is, is more of an impact-winning type player, and, and I, I like him a lot. All right, so who wins this game? You know what? Just on, based on the way this is going, I mean, I, you know, if, if Kentucky's streaming losses like this, I think Florida can go in there and get another one. You know, Florida is a team that, that with Calathis, and, you know, they, they really need to get back to the NCAA tournament, and they, they need to get a, a couple of more wins to solidify that because even though they've got a gaudy record right now, they're still a little bit on shaky ground. Kentucky's just not playing well right now. I'll take Florida going there and upset Kentucky and Rupp Arena. And Florida has had a week since its last game when they beat South Carolina 97 93 to get to the top of the SEC East. Gary Parrish, thank you very much, sir. We'll see how it all plays out Tuesday night. Thank you. All right, folks, for more on this game, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Mr. Parrish, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.